another day Time to get going, why sleep when we can play? Good morning, Sunday. Good morning, Ron. Gotta get ready to enjoy the view Looking kinda cool, looking kinda new There are things we should be trying, me and you A new day's here and fun is overdue Getting even cooler, stepping to a new beat Got a tingling inside me and it's spreading to my feet McDonald land is changing Everything is rearranging I can't sit still cause it's a beautiful day And Ronald McDonald's got something to say Sunday, it's me. Ah, sorry, Ronald. Hey, you're gonna give yourself nightmares watching that stuff. Well, I can't stop now. The dinosaurs are eating their way through Central Park. Is that Attack of the Dinosaurs? Why didn't you tell me I love that movie? If you hadn't sat on that dinosaur egg, you wouldn't be in this mess. I did it for science! Yeah, nice work, Doctor. Now your science project has us. I'm gonna have to switch to sugar-free dog food. Oh, hey, someone's calling on the picture full. I'll get it, I'll get it! Hi, Ronald. Oh, hi, Tinka. What's up? Well, it's a really nice day, and winter's right around the corner. So I was wondering if you and the gang might want to go camping together out in Farflung Forest. Great idea. Fresh air, campfires, and I can try out my new tent and a flashlight invention. So you're up for it? Oh, sure, Tika. I'm going to go check out my breezeometer. Weather's perfect for a camp out. Hold on a minute, Ronald. Camping in the woods? Are you sure? Sunday, don't tell me you're afraid of giant dinosaurs. No, no, it's, uh, ticks. I don't like ticks and fleas. Oh, Sunday. Call the gang and have them meet us at the car in five minutes. Thanks, Ronald. This is going to be a trip we'll never forget. I don't like the sound of that. Hey, Grimace, what's up? Ronald, I can't watch any more TV. No, it's scary. Now, every channel I turn to is movies with vampires and monsters and baby dogs. Well, why don't you join me and the gang? We're going camping. Camping? In the woods? What other kind of camping is there? Uh, I don't know, Ronald. What kind? <sighs> Ronald? Are you still there? Oh, uh, there's the other line, Grimace. Meet us at the car as soon as you can. Hey, Sunday, can you find that new flashlight we were working on? Okay, Ronald. Another day in McDonald land. Ronald McDonald! <laughs> you will never believe it! What, Birdie? Aliens, Ronald! Aliens! I'm certain a spaceship came down and took away my bird bath! It was oh, here oh. one minute and gone the next! Oh. Sounds like someone's been watching some scary movies lately. Hey, we're going camping in the far-flung forest. Want to go? Sounds fun. So long as you don't beam me up to any spaceship. Actually, I thought we'd take the car. Meet us there in five minutes, OK? OK, Sunday. Let's see how that new tent and a flashlight invention works. I don't suppose you'd consider checking me into a kennel instead. Oh, come on, Sunday. I got a new pup tent for you in the car. Far flung. Here we come. Man, 
you gotta get some stairs. That used to be fun. <laughs> I'm carrying all of you? You're the car. <laughs> well, don't blame me when I sprain an axle. Just what we need. Dual airbags and an attitude problem. I hope you least. Could we be any more crowded? Thanks for having me along, Ronald. I've always wanted to go camping in Far Flung Forest, but I've always been too afraid. Uh, afraid? What? Who? Oh, it's probably nothing. It's just, well, I've heard stories. About what? No, don't tell me. The Far Flung Phantom. A ghost that walks the night and preys on unsuspecting campers. Now, this is my kind of story. The way I hear it, the phantom lives in some spooky old house. <laughs> and whenever campers get near it, they get swept away by floods. <gasps> Sounds perfectly awful. Uh, what she said. And they get lost forever. <laughs> it's OK, Grimace. I've been camping in far-flung forests for years. <laughs> I haven't seen any phantom. That's because nobody's ever seen the phantom. And lived. Let's go home, Ronald. What's the matter? Scared? Don't worry, Grimace. Their story's made up for the campfire. What we need for the car is a good driving song. There's nothing like the great outdoors and the far-flung forest is the best, of course. If you want to get close to the greenery, then camping in the wild is the place to be. There's flowers. And squirrels. And fish. And frogs. Caves and rocks. And lots of bugs. Hey, Ronald, are we there yet? No. There's nothing like the great outdoors and the far-flung forest is the best, of course. If you want to get close to the greenery, then camping in the wild is the place to be. There's flowers. And squirrels. And fish. And frogs! Caves and rocks! And lots of bugs! Hey, Ronald, are we there yet? No! There's nothing like the great outdoors and the far flung forest is the best, of course. If you want to get close to the greenery, then camping in the wild is the place to be. There's flowers! And squirrels! And fish! And frogs! Caves and rocks! And lots of bugs! Looking for a bird! Laying in the trees! Uh, I hope a bear doesn't come for me! So, Ronald, are we there yet? No! There's nothing like the great outdoors and the far-flung forest is the best, of course! If you want to get close to the greenery, then camping in the wild is the place to be! There's flowers, and squirrels, and fish, and frogs, caves, and rocks, and lots of bugs! There's flowers, and squirrels, and fish, There he is. Okay, everybody, find a buddy. Sunday's with me. Tika, you dropped something. Oh, yes, well, I brought this walkie talkie in case we split up. We could stay in touch, but oh darn it, where's that other one? Oh, that's weird. Uh, we thought you might need an extra body, Grimace. Oh, sure. Hop in. <laughs> squirrel. Come on, Sunday. It's just a squirrel. <laughs> You're right.
right, Ronald. It's just a squirrel. A very nice squirrel. Hey, Ronald. I think we're going the wrong way. You sure? Yeah, we should be heading toward those rocks if we want to find the trail. For a first-time camper, you know how to find your way around. I do know one thing. You're off the trail. <gasps> <laughs> hmm. Okay, everybody. Let's rest. We've got another three hours till we make camp. to be kidding three more hours, my poor delicate arches. Isn't there an easier way? Hey, why don't you whip up something magical, Ronald, and we could get there in no time, eh? Come on, Hamburglar, you need the exercise. A little work now, and we'll have a little magic fun later. There must be some way of getting him to use his magic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is cruelty to animals. Yeah, once you're back on your feet, you'll be fine. You'll see. I don't see what everybody's complaining about. Haven't they ever been hiking before? Is there any more ice for my soda? Nope, sorry, all out. These conditions are barbaric! <laughs> now let's see if this quizzical bear call really works. <laughs> <laughs> Phantoms and giant squirrels. My kind of camping trip. Whatever it is, it sounds bad. Everybody's gonna be so scared if this thing works. Oh, it works all right. Oh. Oh, <laughs> At least it's not the phantom. <laughs> bear. Bear. <laughs> Funny how a good bear chase can give you an energy boost. From a bear. Let's go, let's go. No time to fix our hair. Let's go, let's go. Don't be slow. Show the experts what you know. Time to work so we can play. Have a pleasant holiday. Time to set, 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 set up camp. Everybody do their best. So we all have time to rest. Time to set, 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 set up camp. been camping. Usually when I travel, it's to a beautiful four-star resort. Last year it was Paris, the Palais de Rumorgue, the Haunted Palace. The Haunted? Ha! That's nothing. The far-flung phantom is way more scary. Why don't we take a walk Sunday? But Hamburglar is just about to scare everybody. Yeah, and give you nightmares. Be right back, everybody. Uh, what about the phantom hamburger? 
weren't you listening to Tika? No, uh, not really. I was too afraid. Well, do you really want to know? Uh, no. Hamburglar, don't you know it is not polite to terrify people? And your point is? <gasps> hey, what's that? Some kind of old house. Old is an understatement. No, wait, there's a light. I don't like the looks of that light. And so, for a hundred years, if you listen closely, when the moon is full and the autumn leaves are falling, you can hear the forest whisper. The far-flung phantom's gonna get you if you don't watch out! Oh, <laughs> well, now look what you've done, Hamburglar! Grimace! Okay, Hamburglar was just trying to scare us. There is no such thing as a far-flung phantom. Uh, are you sure? Positively. <laughs> hey! I need your help. Uh, if you need help shaking in your boots, uh, I've got you covered. When that thing swings back, grab it. One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> oh, hamburger. Why, hamburger, you little. You should have seen your faces. <laughs> you were so scared. Come on, Hamburglar. Bertie, relax. Hey, where's Tika and the Nuggets? That's weird. The weather's supposed to be nice all weekend. Sounds like a big weather front moving in. I'm sure it's just heat lightning. I'm just gonna take a wild guess here that it's not heat lightning. There goes the fire! Uh, I believe this would be as good a time as any to unpack the rain gear. But we didn't bring rain gear because it wasn't supposed to rain. We did. Be prepared. That's the McNugget motto. Uh, be afraid. That's the Grimace motto. Hold on. Let me try something. As long as it doesn't get too windy! Sunday and I saw a house just over that ridge. Grab what you need for the night and let's get inside. Come on, you guys. Uh, I think we're trapped. Come on, it's just a door. Besides, it looks like there are lights on. Hang on, I'll go first. What kind of place can this be? Who could live in here? What family? It's wild and scary. The walls are hairy. Uh, it smells so musty and everything is dusty! It's really too bad that the wind is so gusty Cause I sure don't feel at home Which that? Is anybody home? This place is creepy but you must admit We won't do better on a night like this Where do we start? Where should we go? <laughs> uh, there's something Behind that door! <laughs> well, it's dark outside and the rain is coming down But I sure don't feel it all! 
Watch out! We're all alone! This place is creepy, but you must admit yeah. You won't do better on a night like this What kind of place? In here. The floors are creaky. But you must admit, that sound is really leaky. It's really too bad, because something sure feels sneaky. I wish I could go home. Who's there? We're not alone. This place is creepy, but you gotta admit, we've got no choice on a night like this. Interesting. No. Cool. <laughs> what are you scared of? A phantom armchair? It's not a chair. It's a hologram. No, Ronald, I feel like a phantom is behind every door. Somebody's behind this, but I don't think it's a phantom. Only one way to find out. We get tough and we get going. Let's see where those doors go. I guess we'll never find out. Look, no knobs. Never push and never pull. You're finished when your plate is full. Exercise your force of will. You proceed by standing still. Never push and never pull. You're finished when your plate is full. Wow, that's crazy. You're finished when your plate is empty and you always start with a salad fork. I don't know what's wrong with you, Freddy Cat. I've been opening doors all my life. Come on, guys. Oh, where'd they go? Fry kids, are you okay? okay? You're finished when your plate is full? What does it mean? It's a riddle. Maybe it'll get us out of here. Hey, look, a clue. You're finished when your plate is full. Everybody, on the plate. Okay, now what? You proceed by standing still. I get it. That's what it means by force of will. Now be still. It's working, Ronald. That must be the door. Great. Now who's going to be the one to try it? I'll go first. Everybody behind me. Come on, you guys. Uh, uh, hey, uh, let's check out some of these doors. Uh -huh. Here's the phone. Let's call for help. Kind of big for a phone booth. <gasps> yeah, but not for long. <gasps> we'll be crushed. More careful. Hey, this library looks normal. Come on! Isn't there always some kind of catch somewhere? Oh, look! A lever! Hey, I'm Bergwald. <laughs> Don't touch anything until we find the clue. It'll tell us how to get to the next level. Is there a clue that says, go home? Um, uh, maybe if I put the bookcase back? <gasps> Which part of Don't Touch Anything didn't you understand? What's this? Where 
were in a maze! A hall of mirrors! Just look for a clue. <laughs> I think I found that clue you were looking for. What does it say? It's not hard to understand. Find the door with your left hand. No mention of a left paw, is there? I don't care what it says. I don't understand it. It's not hard to understand. My uncle has one of those big hedge mazes, and there's a trick to getting out. Let me guess. Hedge clippers? You just start walking with your left hand touching the wall to your left. What does that do? Well, you might have to walk through the whole maze, but if you don't ever lift your hand from the wall, eventually you'll find your way out. This house can't be that big. Let's give it a try. How do we know what to do? We're lost almost, but we've got a clue. What kind of plot have we fallen into? Uh, where do we go? What do we do? If we hold hands and follow the clue, we'll soon find our way through. Uh, what's that? Christmas, it was you! This place is so creepy. If we stick together, we can make it through this. Let's stick together, we'll make it through this. Solve the riddle. Hmm, that's what we must do. We're in a maze. We must follow the clue. Hold your hand to the left. What about my paw? And you'll see we're almost home. What's that that I just saw? This place is so creepy, you must admit. If we stick together, we can make it through this. Let's stick together, we'll make it through this. could get farther than I ever could. <laughs> At least somebody's enjoying this. No, oh, you're getting no place fast. These walls keep moving. How are we going to get to that door? Uh, uh, I think I know how. Really? You figured it out? We can stop the walls from moving if we all just spread out in a circle. Hey, it's worth a try. I think I'll just stay here in the middle, just in case. I think it's working! This is so exciting! This is, this is the farthest I've ever got! What? Almost there! Where'd the room go? Good question. You were the first ones who have beaten all of my little games. No one else has made it this far, but your journey is not yet over. Okay, pal, what's going on? I am Franklin, and this is my game, and you are intruders. This is like some kind of big cheese ball computer game, isn't it? You have seen that ignoring the clues or trying to use brute strength have no effect on the game. Then how can we beat you, Franklin? You can beat me by pitting your brains against mine. Well, that does it. Game over. Easy, Sunday. I assume we get something for beating you. You get the victory. Oh, and you get your friends back. See, Grimace? I told you they were all right. Who is up to the challenge? Very well, Tika. I'll start off with an easy one. What is it that the more you take away from it, the bigger it gets? I know. No helping. I need an answer. Oh, I know. A restaurant. The more you take out... Way too complicated and wrong. The answer is a hole. Franklin! Oh, man. I read that one on the bottom of a gum wrapper. <laughs> Hamburglar, why don't you go next? I'm in no rush. Oh, but I am. I'll even let Birdie help you on this. Come on, Hamburglar, we have gotten this far together. Okay, we're ready. What is it you can feel outside, hear inside, but only see when it's full of dust? Feel outside and hear inside. 
And never see it unless it's dusty. Time is running out. Time! What's the answer? Morph balls? A dust mop? Very good answers. But wrong. The answer is... The wind! I think the answers are also the traps. Hmm, that's comforting. Okay, Franklin, it's my turn. Fine, here's a tough one. What costs nothing but is worth everything? Weighs nothing but lasts a lifetime. That one person can't own, but two people can share. That is a tough one. Oh, hmm. Costs nothing but is worth everything. 10 seconds. Weighs nothing, but lasts a lifetime. Five seconds. That one person can't own, but two can share. Time's up. Oh, run. Please, please, please don't leave me. That's it. I know the answer. Say it now, or say goodbye. The answer is friendship. No. Lucky guess. It was no guess. Grimace helped me with it. No fun, no fun! You weren't supposed to know the answer. Give me a minute while I think of what to do. What now? Let's look around. Franklin's too busy to watch us. It's too dark for him to watch us. Ronald, I want to tell you something. I'm not scared, because you're here. Thanks, Grimace. <gasps> what is it, Sunday? It's a wire that leads to a TV camera. Well, how does that help us? If we follow the wire, eventually it'll lead us to Franklin. Let's go, Sunday. That was too easy. Maybe if I ask him some differential calculus. You're just mad because somebody beat you. They haven't beaten me yet. Anyway, you've never made it past the second level. And these nuggets? Pathetic! Without these pathetic nuggets, you never would have been able to lure Ronald here in the first place. I don't know about never. Hey, I'm making a point! I have to figure out what to do with Ronald next! How about saying two words? That's impossible! How don't you... I mean, there's no way... Nobody gets into my lab! Nobody! Do you understand? Two words! Okay, okay, what are they? Nice hairdo. You win! Rats! Okay, okay, you win! If I didn't hear it myself, I wouldn't believe it. Dad? You are coming with me, young man. I knew I had to leave the lecture early when I saw the lightning on the mountain. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've told my son not to reprogram the virtual reality projectors. So you're the famous Dr. Quizzical. Dad's a super genius. I'm gonna be like him someday. He can do just about anything. You're going to have to stop scaring people. I only use my work to help people. And now I'd like to help you. Can I take you and your friends back to the campsite so you can finally do what you set out to do? Yeah, spend time together, camping. Oh. Sorry I tricked you, Ronald. But I really wanted you to play the game. And I couldn't think of any other way. You still want to be my friend? Sure. You still want to go camping? Sure! Anybody else? Yeah! I'd like to go, too. Isn't there something you want to say first? Please? This kid is not to be believed. Young man, you should apologize for scaring everybody tonight. But I like being scary. Franklin? Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Now, can we go camping? If it's okay with your dad, then it's decided. I'll just give you all a ride back to camp. Hey, we made a new friend. <laughs> a new friend with tricks up the sleeve. A new friend that makes hamburgers seem absolutely sweet by comparison. A new friend that I'd rather have on my side.
Ronald, promise me that one of these days you'll work on the landings. That's a promise. It's gigantic. Why did I have to sit on that egg? Why, why? science. Are you sure you want to watch this before bedtime? No problem. I'm having fun. This has got to be the greatest sequel ever made. Let me get this straight. This is the same baby dinosaur that the scientist hatched in the first movie? Right, but now he's a full-grown teenager with an appetite for destruction. You know, we could always change the channel. Thanks, but I'm okay, Ronald. With a friend like you, I'm not afraid of anything. This is your very own clown, Ronald McDonald. Hoping I'll see you next time, live and in person at McDonald's. Coming in 1999, an all new video adventure. Ronald and his friends set sail in search of a hidden treasure on a mystical island. The secret home of all grimaces. Don't miss The Legend of Grimace Island, available only at McDonald's. Ha ha ha!